Good evening, and thank you for joining us. In a galaxy far, far away, a long, long time ago, an out-of-work disc jockey thought he could do television. And this is his story. presents live from East Lansing in the studios of WELM, it's the Jazz Marquee Show! Tonight, Jazz explores the weird world of unknown with Jim GMS, psychic friends Sierra and Soothsayer, Rosemary Taylor and Nancy Arand. Also the Jazz Marquee Top 5 list. Plus, Redneck Rock with Old Habits, direct from the Silver Dollar Saloon. Plus, the fabulous Jazz McKay Babe. And me, I'm Jimmy Tickle. And now, a man who thinks sex is a lot like bridge because you don't need a partner if you got a good hand. Ladies and gentlemen, call the police. It's Jazz McKay! Good evening and welcome. Yes, it's Tuesday night. Time to call the cops. Hey, Jimmy, what's the difference between toilet paper and a shower curtain? Gee, I don't know, Jazz. Oh, that's obvious. You're the guy. I'm not gonna invite you back over to my house anymore. Sorry. You made a mess in there, man. It was a disgusting mess. I had to mess. go. I had to go. You know? We have a great show planned for you tonight. As, as always, of course, we have uh, we have some psychic ladies who are going to come in here and they're going to, I guess, do our fortunes, read our yeah. fortunes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell me I'm a loser. We have Rosemary and Nancy coming up for that. And we also have um, our band Old Habits is here yeah. tonight. Yeah. 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 Provide a little music, and uh, I understand Jimmy wants to sing with the band. Yeah. Um, no, you know what? We're going to let him do it. We're going to let him do it because he's been pestering me. Every band that has come in here, he's wanted to know if they could play uh, Ramblin' Man, Ramblin Man by uh, the, the Allman Brothers. Brothers. And yeah. they all, you know, I was able to talk to them in advance, most of them, and get them to say no when Jimmy asked. But uh, this time I wasn't able to get the old habits, so they've agreed to do it. Uh, but uh, I'll probably also get up and sing a song, too. Yeah! Yeah! Little country western redneck rock. Let's. Uh, let's I, first of all, before I get into things this uh, this evening, I want to talk to you real quick about uh, this uh, Bill Clinton smoking plan. Have you heard about this? He is planning on taxing cigarettes two dollars a pack. What? Wow. Get prepared for this. Two dollars for a pack of cigarettes. This is all in his way of um, of offsetting the cost of his national health care programs. And uh, I, I guess that's good, though, because now when somebody tells me at Denny's to put that cigarette out, I can just simply say, hey, I'm paying for your health care. Fuck you. <laughs> you know, here's the deal. You know, first, first they banned smoking. Uh, postal workers cannot smoke. Did you know that? I mean, they've got this big thing. I mean, they can't, they can't smoke at work. They can't smoke anywhere now, state okay? Workers. Uh, state workers cannot smoke. Uh, now they're saying prisoners. For those of us who have spent time at the Gray Bar Motel, we know that, uh, eh, shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> we know that they have not allowed smoking in county jails and city jails for quite some time. Now they're going to be telling prisoners in federal prisons that they cannot smoke. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be the guy that tells Mike Tyson he can't have a cigarette, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, besides that, I mean, let's face it, if prisoners don't have cigarettes, how the hell are they going to get dates? Anyway, uh, we got Jimmy Tickle with us. We need babes. Where's my babes? Let's bring up the fabulous babes. I don't know. Babes. Where'd they go? Yeah, here they come. Woo! Yeah. Michelle, my love, how are you? Fine. Thank you. Shay. Michelle and Shay are with us. And as always, of course, we have the fabulous babes on the program to remain as politically incorrect as possible. They are here simply to look good. And they yeah. do, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see, also tonight, oh, 4th of July. Do you guys have fun on 4th of July? No, I was homesick. You were homesick? You poor <laughs> thing. What did you do, 4th of July? Had fun. Just had fun? I had no. a lot, I had a, I had a big, big blast of a good time for great. 4th of July. Some friends of mine got me extremely drunk, took me way out in the country, and we blew things. I tell you what, actually, would you have the video? Let's roll that video. Let's take a look at, this is how I spent my 4th of July. It is much more there, they're sticking down. I'm gonna use both hands on it. A lot more. 
This is a slightly dangerous process. Don't try this at home. This folks. is a slightly dangerous process right there. That's even more dangerous right there. It's done. It's ready. It's ready. And now the fuse is, is intact, right? Yes. That's done first. Yep. Now, where do we put it? This could happen at any moment, folks. Yes, Grasshopper, you must focus. Do we have a good shot this over the, there? This is the wadding. We're shot installing the wadding into the cannon on top of the gunpowder. This is the one ply or two ply? Definitely two ply. Definitely two ply? Yeah, we That's want the heavy duty stuff. Ply before they the little cannon you can use one ply. This, this big one. No, no, two no, ply. no. Pan up, pan up. Let's get a shot here. We're packing the That's cannon. Good. Don't pack the That's hands, good. just the cannon. Cannon ain't gonna Not that way. You set it on its flat. Okay, ready? Start filming. All right, Happy here we go. Fourth of July! This is the babe. Looks good. Good burn. Good burn. Whoa! <laughs> All I can say is that was one loud motherfucker. Some what? Jumping jacks. Those things you. Get. Either the drill or the screwdriver. What's it gonna be? About? The screwdriver. <laughs> the drill. The drill seems to be working. Is the drill successful? Are we drill low right now as we try and implant a fuse? And here we go. We're lighting. Let it go. Let it rip. One. And it's lit. Ah! Fire in the hole. Woo! Damn, I see it. Cannon's over here. Blowing it up. Boy, you guys had some fun. We man. had a blast, man. We did all kinds of manly stuff, blowing shit up and everything. And I tell you, that's what 4th of July is all about. Sometimes we forget what these holidays really mean. Yes, 4th of July, a time to, you know, break out the cannons and the 357 Magnums and just blast away, you know. Just you don't get caught. You didn't lose any fingers. I had I had no, you know, we were hoping, I, I got to admit, I was kind of hoping that we might end up with someone, you know, blowing their brains out or something out there. Uh, as it was, we weren't so lucky, so we won't be on America's Funniest Home Videos. Uh, anyway, we have our, fi our top five list, which is half as good as what David Letterman does. <laughs> Are you ready for our top five list? Yeah. All right. All right, now this is uh, National Nudist Week, all right? And these are the top five things that, uh, top five things a nudist thinks about when wearing clothes. In at number five, ooh, I feel so naked. Yeah. This is the top five things that a nudist thinks about while wearing clothes. And at number four, no one will recognize me without my sandals. <laughs> yeah. The top five things a nudist thinks about when wearing clothes. Number three, how about that? I got a Woody and no one knows. <laughs> yeah. Number two, well, at least no one will see that zit on my ass. <laughs> yeah. That was mine. And the number one. Volleyball, volleyball, volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, buddy, I wanted to get the uh, wanted to get to this too. We have uh, uh, the ladies who have won the most recent contest. Can we get this? Do we get this on two? Can we get this on two. This is the uh, 
the Miss Lady Light 93 contest, which we've always been telling you about here on the program. And Taylor won the, uh, the tattoo contest. Congratulations to Taylor yeah. uh, for this week. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's another shot of Taylor. I believe, uh, okay, there's Taylor. I'm not sure where these ladies, oh, okay, well, this one, I know where this girl works. She works at Dream Girls. This is Jamie. Congratulations yeah. to Jamie. And we have uh, Tracy Joe from Omar's. Yeah. Congratulations to Tracy Joe. And of course, Devon, who won the dance contest yes. on Rocky Rasmussen's show, mm -hmm. LA yes. Review. A round of applause to the ladies. I did. You know that, Jazz? You did what? I, I dated the one that won there. Which one's that? Devon. You didn't date Devon. I did too. No, no. Yeah. I in, dated her. In your dreams with Vaseline. Hey, we got a great country band here tonight to play for us. What do you say we check out Old Habits? Yeah! yeah. and gentlemen, and we'll hear more from them in just a few moments. Uh, we've got our next guest in studio ready to come up uh, for you. I'd like to introduce our psychic ladies tonight. It's Rosemary Taylor and Nancy Arand. A round of applause. Yeah, I'm getting real scared, Jazz. They did stuff on me, I don't know. All right, Jimmy is in charge of level oh, or miking you, yes. so, Mike, so get a good afraid. shot of Jimmy's ass. <laughs> Stop! No! No! Well, I'm no good at this because I'm nervous because she can put a curse on me. Oh, please. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Yeah, we know. Right. Okay. Thanks. 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 All right. I'm Nancy. I'm Rosemary. No, sorry. Rosemary, it's a pleasure Hi. to meet you. Yes. How are you? Nice to meet you. You have yes. your tape. Let me, let me, let's show oh, your tape yeah. here. Uh, now, Oops. you have this tape of... You actually used to do a show here at ELMI in the I did many, many years ago. Many moons ago, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. 
And you, uh, you have a, uh, this videotape, which is available, and it's called The Alphabet of the Tarot. Good film. Um, yeah, we watched it watch a couple it? of times. Oh, it was interesting. I was, you know, I, I, I don't know whether I put a whole lot of faith. I've got to be honest with you. I don't know if I put a whole lot of faith into this stuff. What is the difference between a clairvoyant, an astrologer, and a psychic? Or is there a difference? Well, to be an astrologer, you don't have to be psychic but the best ones are. Right. Okay, and I think it's like, it's like working muscles, you know? If there's a particular muscle that you use a lot, it's gonna become, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna become uh, very strong, very potent. Sure. And, and if you use your intuitive sense a lot, then that's gonna become very strong and very potent too. Okay. But so, you are who you are, so the bottom line is the same. It really doesn't matter if you Are we all psychic? I mean, I've heard this. Sure, to some degree. Like, we all have muscles, but some people are like yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger, bigger. and some are like Jimmy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, uh, we, I understand that you have prepared a chart on Jimmy and myself. Is we sure right? did, yeah, and it's very yeah. interesting, very interesting. Really? It, yeah. Great. Well, I mean, we can probably go back and forth and make statements about the two of you. You, my friend, are never wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There's I like this lady, right? <laughs> There's no question about it. I wish I'd had you around to tell my first wife that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she knew. But it's, it's that you really think deeply about a lot of things. You really ponder things before you make a statement. But I, I think it's a little intimidating for people, too, at yeah, times. Yeah. Because, you know, when you say it, damn it, that's it. That's all there is to it. That's it, yeah. Also, I think he's very intuitive. But he just thinks everybody's like that. So he doesn't put any that's credence true. in it. That's true. Yeah. And you know what I like to do, what one of my specialties is to look at um, past life energy in charts. And it's real interesting because when, when I sit down and do a chart, it's like these pictures just start coming to me. And when I was looking at your birth date, whew, three words, babe, Attila the Hun. <laughs> <laughs> Not jazz. Not me, no. And then my sense is this, that the, the females in your life are ones that have all been with you in other lifetimes. And especially the ones, well, you know, because they're coming back to kind of set things right, you know, to balance yeah. things out <laughs> after the pillaging and all of that. It's all familiar jazz. Yeah, right. <laughs> especially the really strong, aggressive So in other words, they didn't make my life as much of a living hell as they should have before, so they came back again. I think you probably did it for them before. Oh, I see. So now it's, that they're uh, balancing payback. it out, you know. Yeah. yeah, well, karma is karma, you know. Well, let's not talk about Carmen right now. Um, <laughs> But uh, how do you come up with these things? How do you do a chart on somebody? Well, it's based what on the, the time, the date, and the place. Every chart is uh, ex ex specific to you, and there'll never be another chart like yours. So you truly are a unique person. Every person is. Mm. So uh, won't happen ever again. Is this computerized? Do you guys have uh, uh, yeah, the, the benefit of that? Yeah. It, yeah. Um, it takes about half an hour to construct a chart by hand with all the mathematics using the logarithms and everything. It's a lot easier just to plug the data in the computer <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and get it in a minute. You, you have some real unusual things. I mean, I think, I think people don't know how meticulous you are. They don't know what a perfectionist you are. I mean, they see this very flashy part of you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you are like cutting edge and beyond. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't ever think you're going to be normal, because it's just <laughs> 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 and who, you know, and who would want to be? Who would want to be? Yeah, yeah. Well, from your point of view. <laughs> well, Bob Ottaway does, huh, Bob? Yeah, he knows. He's watching. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> but uh, so, so you put these together. You, you are telling me things that uh, obviously, I guess, in my own mind, I already know. Mm -hmm. Can you predict the future? Can you tell me? We, we can look at different cycles that are coming up. Am I going to get a job? <laughs> Am okay. I going to get a job? Well, I'd say you've hit bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Rose. <laughs> Really, there's no place to go but up <laughs> from here. You named that one right on, boy. I think 1993 will be a lot better for him. You've gone through a period. You mean very 94? Yeah, well, 93 will be better than 92, but 94 will be even better yeah. than 93. Yeah. 
But you've uh, gone through a period of time uh, when nothing you did seemed right, and it didn't <laughs> matter which way you went. Oh, no shit. <laughs> and I, I really don't know anything about you. I, I, I'm sorry, I never heard your radio show. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my son told me you come had on over, let's grab some beers and we'll listen to some tapes. What do you think? Nice thing to tell with Leo. <laughs> But at any rate, I um, could see that you've gone through an intense time when it felt like nothing you did was the right thing to do, and you'd try something else, and that wasn't right either. So you'd get back on and try yeah. something else, and it just a continual pattern of this happening, and you're coming out of that period now. Yeah. And 1994 will open some new doors for you. Yeah, I might actually way, get work. Yes, but you know what? Yes, you know what definitely. I like? I like October. What do you think about October? October oh, because to me, October, October th there's some opportunities. There's some things that, that I really think are going to open up for you. And, and yeah. Are you writing this down, Jimmy? October. October. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Jess. Really? You can uh, hold oh, us to it. So I, can pretty much, so I can pretty much fuck off between now and now. I think so. <laughs> Everything's yeah. cool. Yeah. And, you know. Well, you know, uh, but you know what October has to do with is teamwork. It has to mm. do with connections that you make. Because, you know, it's not what you know. It's, it's not who you know. Who you know. It's uh, who you and, and I think that's <laughs> the point where you really can draw on that. There's a lot of you that's so fiercely independent. Well, this so business is built around connections. Sure, you know, right. the, sure. The media right. business, whether it's radio, television, or yeah. journalism, whatever, it's all connections. It's it's who you know. Sure. I, well, I think there's a connection that comes through for you in October. Cool. Yeah, mid October. So yeah. October. Okay. You know, keep our cards. You call us. Oh, I got happen. your cards. Yeah. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit quickly about your video. Take yes. me back to that. Uh, is this available? Um, it's available locally at Such Video and the Mountain Bookstore. Let's take a look at a, let's take a look at the uh, clip from the uh, Alphabet of the Tarot. And we'll come back and find out about with Rosemary part. Taylor. We'll come back and find out what's yeah. up in Jimmy's life. <laughs> thing that I think is important to understand is that on planet Earth, there are no half packages. When we have a question there's an answer. When there's a problem, there's a solution. Everything comes in twos, and that's how things are created, aren't they, on planet Earth. When we ask a question of this particular tool, that moment that we ask it holds not only the question, but it holds the answer at the same time. So we can use this as a way to externalize the question and the answer. We use it as a way to show ourselves some of the nuances that we might not be aware of consciously because we get all caught up in, in the emotion of the moment or the ego or whatever. All right, so what we do then is we, we ask the question, and, and I'm going to tell you this, these are paper and they, they are ink and they're drawings and they're not something to look at and say, ooh, big time tarot cards and, and to get nervous about and think, oh, this is going to show me something bizarre. It's not that at all. Yes, you should be reverent in this process. Yes, when you, when you look to this as a, a tool for the answers, for the things that you're asking, then do it in a sacred way. But please don't get... And I wanted to ask you, you mentioned on there, you're dispelling fears about the tarot, I mm -hmm, think. Uh, mm -hmm. There are some people think there's some satanic shit going on in that sure. deck of cards. Yeah. What is yeah. the or uh, origin of the tarot? Nobody really knows. When, when the library at Alexandra burned down and that took, what, two weeks to happen, all of the information that had been written and, and stored up until that point went with it. So nobody really knows. So for all we know, this could actually just be some ancient card game, like an old, a version of Old Maid or something. <laughs> well, <laughs> well the, no, not really. The, the 52 cards that we play with today yeah, right. Are, are the 52 lesser arcana in the deck. The major arcana were taken out because they do have to do with soul growth. They have to do with the development of you from the nothingness back to the, the unity of whatever you want to call it, of the whole, right. after all of this is over. But as I was saying on the video, when you ask something of a moment, the, the answer is contained within that. And so you can really draw on anything. You know, people through rune stones and, and people do pendulums and things like that because that moment 
is your intent. Do you do all concept. those things yourself, or do you <clears throat> prefer to stick with the tarot? In in my business, yeah. charts and the cards. Is that right? You know, personally though. Why yeah, are hers but, round? Well, she's just got a different. <laughs> See, deck. she's got a round there, set. Like a thousand decks. <laughs> There's well, lots and lots yeah. of decks. Really? Actually, this a deck has more of a a female type energy in it and yeah. these are a little more male. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. Sure. Because <laughs> you're a male. So she's going to work with Jimmy. Give so. <laughs> so a female dick, Jazz. Dick, dick. Okay. So here's what I want you to do, and I want you to use your, your own sensitivity, all, all right? right? Because hands are real givers and receivers of energy. Yeah. Think about, and since we already talked about work and so forth, think about what, what's the lesson that needs to be learned before you draw to you your right and perfect job. Okay. Okay. All right. Put your hand over the top of these. Just like like you're doing there. Yeah, and if you can feel like one that's warmer than than the rest, because your your hand. Should to be honest with you, they all feel pretty much the same. But okay. Well, let me see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got cold hands here. All right. So I'll just give you a little energy <laughs> here. Oh, I'm right, alone. No, just, <laughs> <laughs> just just sense, and okay. and then I just want you to pull one of the cards out and just we'll one? talk about it. Yeah, just all one. Right. All right, I one, I so, hmm, that's interesting. All right, what's do you this? Want, you want to get a shot of that? Um, this is the card that, that has to do with balancing out one's talent, balancing out one's energy, knowing how to handle money, knowing how to, how to be of service, how well, to... I could really um, use that card. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm but, telling but you. See, the point is that there, there's one person that he's giving money to, and there's one that's being denied. I see. Okay. All right? And I'm certain that, you know, you feel like this one that's being denied here. <laughs> yeah. But there, there are certain lessons that one has to learn in order to be a good steward of the career, of the money, of the job, and so forth. Um, I guess my sense is about this that that it doesn't do much good to give a bottle of wine to the alcoholic, you know, <laughs> and it keeps them shut up for a half an hour. But but what you really need to do is teach them how to be healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's the same thing. Just any job is not going to do it for you. You really need to be patient and know that the right and perfect one, it's there. It's there for you. I mean, the pentacles are money. They're they're material wealth. So it's on its way. But just what are the pentacles? Those are the stars. Yeah, these are the pentacles here. Okay. They're because I heard coins. you mention that in the video. I wasn't sure what that was. Yeah, they're, oh, they're Jimmy coins. Jimmy grabbed. Uh, yeah, Jimmy got a card. Jimmy got there. a card. What, what did Jimmy get? Well, very interesting. He got Ooh. the uh, priestess of swords. <laughs> The priestess of swords. And yeah. uh, I think he has a woman in his life who's going to say some very sharp words to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I, that happened over I'm the weekend, sorry, didn't it? Jimmy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, she probably has some things to say that you don't want to hear. Um, she's a pretty powerful woman and she uh, uh, speaks her mind and pulls no punches. So. She beats him up. She beats Ken's him up. Over here laughing. Oh. Ken's over here laughing. <laughs> Ken those. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Could be so what should Jimmy? So what should Jimmy do? Should uh, he? He should be very kind to his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss her ass, buddy. <laughs> yes, <Ken. laughs> Kiss her ass. It's it's quite a narrow path that you're walking. You yeah. Know? So you, what did yeah. you find the Jimmy's chart when you did his? Oh, oh, oh well, yeah. when you did Jimmy's chart. Well, well, you know, I knew that he he was going to be an unusual dresser. That he was going to have his own style, <laughs> and it's and you know, unique. to heck with anyone that says anything about the way that he dresses. I like it. I think it's a fashion statement that must be made <laughs> by someone. <laughs> Not me, Somebody's got to do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, he, uh, should we tell what you are? Yeah, sure. Go you, ahead. You a don't geek? mind? No, I don't care. No, it's okay. Go ahead. You're a Scorpio. <laughs> um, Is that like the wussy uh, sign? <gasps> no. no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's very powerful. <laughs> the thing is, Scorpios like to keep secrets, and a lot of times you can't yeah. even uh, get a Scorpio to say what sign they are because yeah. they won't tell. So if they won't tell, you know they're Scorpios, <laughs> usually. <laughs> yeah. Little tricks of the trade we're picking up here. Really, <laughs> really. If somebody won't tell you, then just go, oh, you're Scorpio. Scorpio, yeah. and, you know, and then they'll be amazed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but he has the moon in Leo, so there's a part of him that really needs to be on stage mm -hmm. as well. Like you are the Leo, yeah. obviously the Leo. Obviously. <laughs> but see, that's it's moon in Leo, sun in Leo, yeah. and and he won't eclipse you because he only basks in your reflected light. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> What can you say? I respect this man. 
and he has the moon in Leo, which is somewhat symbolic of the women that he would attract in his life. And and he what, kind moonies? of moonies. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, women that beat you up. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's Powerful exactly women. right. Powerful sure. women. Women who would sim be symbolized by the Queen of Swords. That makes sense. The the, co the card that you selected. So um, you're you're. Uh, Definitely doing that part. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think he's really ambitious too. He I mean, is something that you might not know. Yeah, that there. Definitely. He's got a real agenda, and he's so you better also, watch it. <laughs> yeah. also. He's planning on taking over the show. <laughs> <laughs> you got another thing. <laughs> also, very intuitive, psychic. He's real tuned in, um, but he may not let people know that either. Oh, <laughs> past life stuff. Do you want to know? Oh about yeah, that? please. Past life stuff. Okay. And, and this may be, you know, part of the, the situation with women that's going on now in your life, you know, or has been in the past, because uh, something that, that you came from was a great deal of ambition and, and achievement and money making and, boy, I mean, you had it, whatever it was, you had the trade. Don't have it that would be when you were no. a doorman at Deja Vu. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, in this lifetime, what, it's not important how much money you make. It's really important the connections that you make emotionally, because that's something that you didn't do in other lifetimes. So the, the women in your life now are going to force you to feel. And you know, it's kind of like, you know, when you're nailed to the cross, you feel, <laughs> there's no question about it. But, but uh, it's important for you in this lifetime. Oh, and is she making me suffer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm making all of our lives a living hell. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> now you guys do this. Um, this is this is your livelihood, correct? Yeah. I mean, this is you. Do, you don't work a QD during yeah, the day right. and then no, recharts no, no. at night. No, we have um, an office on the corner office? of Kalamazoo and Cedar Street. Okay, can we get a shot? I don't know if we can get a shot of this or not. That's. Uh, you want to try that yeah. camera too? This is kind of a. This is your business card here. We wanted to. Um, there we go. Am I? Is my finger over something? Uh, can you read that? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I can read that. It's okay, now if, if, South Cedar. if yeah. people want to uh, to make an appointment with you, do they do they just call up call. and yep. uh, and and for a fee, you'll do the chart. That's and, right. And, uh, One hour consultation. We'll tape it for them so they have something to walk away fr with right. that they can refer back to. Right. Yeah. What do you think of uh, of of all the the pop astrology that's going on today. Oh, the, the 900 numbers yeah. and all that. The oh, psychic, God, friends. psychic friends. So network. much money. Yeah, Is there any way, can these can do these people have any clue at all, do oh, you think? Oh, I think or? they, they oh, have yes. some good people yes. that are there. I, I ended up doing... I mean, they told Eric Estrada he was going to do that uh, well, and Taco you know, Bell commercial, <laughs> right? And I mean, his life is back on track now. Yeah. So, uh, I, it's not he's that doing a psychics, sitcom in Spanish. So. It's not that the psychics there aren't talented. It's that um, people are making a lot of money off that yeah. 900 line and it's not the psychics. They're making very little money. Yeah. Um, the, the people that are running the networks are making a lot of money. And if you see things in the mail that come in the mail, oh, I've been thinking about you and all oh, that, yeah. people really buy into that. That's all about money, too. And it's not about your money. It's about, well, it's about getting your money. Yeah. It's not about helping Well, obviously, they're more. in it to make a buck. You are as yeah. well. Um, you do it on a more personal level, which I think gives it certainly more credibility to mm -hmm. most of us. Well, I, yes, we're, we're in it to make money, no doubt about that. I mean, it's a great thing when you can do what you love and you can get paid for sure. it at the same time. Amen. I know you would like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> <but> yeah. <laughs> well, they don't pay for this too much, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I could find a job where I get paid doing this, boy, howdy, I wouldn't come out of the house. You know. I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> but anyway, th there's there's also something in it for us where sure. we feel like we're being of service too to people because usually people come in when they're at a juncture in their lives where where it's change and and they're not quite sure what direction it's going to take and they're looking for options and so hopefully that's what we give them is an overview so that they can make choices. But can you pick up vibes off someone when they walk right in your door? Are you guys psychic, sure. I guess, is the thing. Well, well yeah, everybody yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, well, there's and intuition, I, and then but, there's But it's not like, you know, 24 awareness. hours a day, you know, the, that, hmm, you know, you're all tuned in. <laughs> Have you ever helped the cops find a, you know, like no. a murderer or dead bodies? No, or I always want to do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cool. Yeah, you've watched one too many that. Rockford Files like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, never, never did that. But um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, when, when we're in our element and we're doing this work, I don't know if you feel like this, but I feel like when I click into another gear after sitting down and looking at the chart for, I mean, like what we're doing here is we're just kind of picking some right. things out. But, but if we were to sit down with you for a solid hour, uh, then it, it's like going into another gear, and then things start to come through that that uh, is sometimes pretty amazing. Do we have a call out there? I, I, I wasn't sure if we if we had gotten a phone call yet or not. We do have a caller standing by. Hello. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Yeah, um, I was wondering what kind of training is required to become a psychic. Is there a school? Well, yes, actually, there is an academy of astrology here in Lansing where you can learn astrology. They start out with beginning classes and progress through. Astrology is something that you can learn even if you're not psychic or consider yourself psychic. You can learn how to construct the charts. There's lots of books for reference material and those things are all um, quite accurate and you can do astrology without being psychic. There are ways to also uh, learn to be more in tune, to learn to meditate, to become more psychic. Right. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. I teach classes in the, the tarot. Yeah, I know the, uh, the, the video is, is you with a group of people mm -hmm. and, uh, and whatnot. Uh, if, uh, if people want to contact you, that number is 482-1339, is that correct? 37. 1337? Jeez, <laughs> i got to get darker sunglasses. 482-1337, uh, <laughs> Rosemary Taylor and Nancy Aron, thank you for being yeah. on our show. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, and I gotta tell you, I've got this strange thing. I've got a little little thing. I don't know. Maybe maybe they maybe 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 Mr. Director in the studio can help me out with this. I've got this incredible desire to see midget wrestling and goofy sound effects. How about that? Does that sound good? Yeah. Midget wrestlers and goofy sound effects. Something kind of you know midget wrestling goofy sound effects. From the rough and tumble sounds of the mat. You ever, you ever get that craving for some Chinese food and you just can't get any in the middle of the night? I got a craving for midget wrestling and goofy sound effects, and I got it. It's magic. I love television. How about the old habits, man? Let's do it again with Charlie Green, Charlie Parmerly, and Tom Page, Jeff Lund, John Woodland. Is that right? Or Woodend? Woodend and Steve Reedy. Go for it. It's old habits. Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Kansas City, here I come. I'm going to Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come. Kansas City, here I come. They got a crazy little women there, and I'm gonna get me one. Kansas City, here I come. I'm gonna be down on the corner, 12th Street and Vine. Kansas City, here I come. I'm gonna be down on the corner. Street and Vine, Kansas City, here I come With my Kansas City baby and a bottle of Kansas City wine Kansas City, here I come Well, I might take a train, I might take a plane If I have no walk, it'll be just the same Kansas City, Kansas City, here I come Kansas City, here I come They got a crazy little women there and I'm gonna hit me one
woman I know I'm gonna die I gotta find a brand new baby And that's the reason why I'm going to Kansas City Kansas City, here I come Kansas City, here I come They got a crazy little women here And I'm gonna hear me one Well, I might take a train I might take a plane If I have no walk It'll be just the same Kansas City Kansas City, here I come Kansas City, here I come They got a crazy little women here And I'm gonna hear me one They got a crazy little women here And I'm gonna give me one They got a crazy little women here And I'm gonna give me one playing at lately where you where, got here. gigs coming up or uh <laughs> you're doing this is pretty much it huh yeah, reach the uh yeah. reach the low point so of your career as well beaver island is that like with just women no oh, excellent beaver island. you know i hate to ask you this because i know that you hate him so much but he really wants to sing with you how about uh is that all right yeah you sure why don't we get you up here? i don't want to get you both up here you want to get us both up there yeah. Let's do family tradition together. What do you say? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's a good hand lamp song. Try that right there. Oh. Wait a minute. I don't want this one. I want this one. I got to be in the center. I'm looking at it. All right, I'll take this one then. Keep Jimmy to my right so I can smack the hell out of him. <laughs> All right, this one's for the Family Motorcycle Club. Do you want to start it? No, why don't you start it? All right. <laughs> Country music singers. We've always been a real family. But lately, some of my kid folks have shown a few others in me. I guess it's because I kind of changed my direction. Lord, I guess I went and broke family tradition. Why do you drink to get drunk? 
Sonic Gold Singers. <laughs> we asked him not to. It was our place here.
Somebody had gas problems there for a minute. <laughs> oh, way to go. It's always the guitarist. Charlie, why don't you introduce everybody in the band here and uh, so we can so we can get good close-ups on everyone. Charlie. Charlie. Which Charlie? I don't know. Okay, Charlie. Oh. What's up? Charlie Green, singing lead. This is Charlie Parmerly over here in the rear yeah. vocals. Yeah. yeah. We got Jeff Lund here on the lead guitar. Woo! Smoking! Um, We've got Tom Page yeah. on the bass guitar. Tom hates yeah. Billy Ray, all right! And we've got John Wooden on the keyboard yeah. and vocals. <laughs> and we have Mr. Steve Reedy doing our drumming. Woo! Yeah! Three minutes, Jeff. What are we going to do? we got to rock and roll or are we going to a country? i tell you what. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Sounds good. All right. All right. Man, I'm going to have you guys play one more just a second to take us out of here. I want to say goodnight to everyone. I want to thank my guests, Rosemary Taylor and Nancy O'Reilly. Yeah.
and advise you to be here next week. El Smasho, the oh, punk rock no. band from East Lansing, will be here. Also, we will have, uh, who else do we got next week? We have uh, Craig Mark St. Deming. Uh, Mark Deming from the Capital Times and Craig St. James from the new radio station The Edge here in East Lansing. Right now, we're going to go out with Old Habits. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. I'm Jimmy Tickle. Peace and love. Thanks for having us here tonight, guys. Appreciate it. Cool, man. Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. All those tourists covered with oil, strumming my six string on my front porch swing. Smell those shrimp, they're beginning to boil. Two, three, four. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much.